So this morning, as you can see, it's just pouring rain. We had a severe windstorm last night, but everything looks okay. So it's a mucky day. Let's go in the barn and see what's happening in here today. So we're in the old heifer barn right now. Uh, just cleaning the drinkers and salt mineral feeders and uh, just gave these guys some hay. Um, we just had two ewes lamb. They're in the jugs now. And uh, right now it all looks quiet. But we've got some big udders and big sheep here. So, uh, it's as usual. We've been going at a steady pace, which we like. The weather's a little nasty today. So see Ernie has to give these guys some hay. So these two uh, were added to the lineup today. Uh, two draw sets and a Dorset cross. This actually looks like Angel's sister. They're both. They're all doing well. Looking a little tired, but they were just born. These two are gonna get let out today. They're in the holding pen, just to make sure everything's okay. This is a bigger pen before we let them out into the group. But uh, one of these lambs is the adopted lamb. I think it's the one that's hopping around like crazy. And I stuck the little orphan lamb in the group pen, so I'm just gonna see how she's doing, because I thought she might like it better with some friends. Hi, buddy. That's her. I don't really want her to see me. And she's probably gonna try to steal off some of these ewes. That's okay as long as they don't hit her. Hey, but buddy, are you feeling hungry? Should we go get you some food? Shall we get you some food? I see you're a little wet. Are you outside? Come on then. Come on. Are you feeling hungry, buddy? Yeah, yeah. It's, I see that it's empty. I'm negligent. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Goodness. If all stray cats were pampered like you. So I just got a whole shipment of uh, Grober milk replacer for the bottle babies. And now we're heading into the rain over to the coveralls. So when you're feeding round bales and feeders, most of them are designed so that you put them on the round. But we designed ours so you put them on the flat. But even if you do have a feeder that Design so you lay it on the round. You should put a block or something in there and put it on the flat because, as you can see, when they eat um, when it's on the flat, it just peels away and they can eat easily. Sheep don't want to have to fight for their feed. Uh, some people will say, Well, we don't want them to eat tons of food. Well, you really do because they'll eat what they need and they'll stay in shape and. Uh, Skinny sheep aren't going to do much for you. Sheep are meat sheep, so they've got to eat to grow. And they need their nutrition too. A sheep that has to fight too much for their feed will eventually walk away and leave it. It's really not the ideal. And uh, I don't know why they design feeders so that you put them on the round, because it's just as easy with uh, machinery to place them in a feeder on their flat. So that's our recommendation anyway. Hi boys.
Your sheep will thank you if you feed them on the flat. Hey, buddy. So here's Annie and Cookie again. They just had their bottles. They still hang around together. So that's nice. They have each other. And Kevin and Karen are back there. And they always hang around together, too. Since it's a really rainy day today, I thought. And it's fairly quiet. We're caught up on everything just about. Arnie's getting some grain for these guys. Um, I figured maybe I'd just sit with them. We can have a meet the sheep thing. You guys, I'm leaving you guys. And we're going into the older pen. Hi, Jerry. Okay, so. Let's go see what's happening in this pen and then we'll make our way around and just have a, a look at the sheep day. So, you're all wondering what I'm up to. Hey buddies, what do you think? So we're in the Dorset pen. Obviously that's uh, Jerry in the background there. Uh, somebody asked us about shearing. So um, I got to start calling a shearer. That's probably what I should be doing instead of this actually. But I got, ideally we like to shear um, all the ewes that are going to lamb in the fall. Hi Jerry. Um, right before we put the ram in, so kind of mid-March, uh, beginning of April, um, March, more if possible. And uh, so we shear all them off. Apparently it makes them more vigorous. At the same time, we will probably shear off all the adult rams. We'll shear off... Um, the fall yeah. ram lambs and probably um, all the replacement ewes as well. Um, the only yeah. ones we won't be shearing at that time would be all the mums yeah. with babies. Hi, Big Betty. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You're such a good girl. And these girls, um, we won't uh, yeah. shear them off until probably midsummer once all the lambs are weaned off them. We, we had shearers in before while they had lambs at foot and it just was too chaotic with uh, the lambs around and lambs getting trampled and stuff like that. So we don't like doing that anymore. So basically shearing happens when all the lambs are out of the way. Hi, there's just so many of you. And who are you? Are you Kermit? Yes, I think you are, little Kermit. And this is Big Betty. And this is that number nine ram that I like so much. Hi. And it's funny once uh, once the ewes have their babies and and are kind of relaxed with them, then they all start being your friend again. When they first have the lambs, they're kind of in the I'm a protective mom stage and they don't uh, they don't want to be pet and stuff like that but now uh, yeah they're kind of getting a little tired of your lammies aren't ya so they all come up for petting and Kermit here we still don't know why he's so friendly it's just random yes you're just a random funny little lamb and he has to be the runtiest of the male lambs Oh, and then over here we got Angel and her lamb trying to nurse and she says no you're big enough Kermit really we're gonna have to find you a pet home I can see that down you get buddy so there's 57 Angel's lamb Angel's right there she tried to come up but every time he she tries to come up for a petting her lamb thinks okay she's gonna stand still now and runs up to nurse hi but they're all at that curious age now. And they're all surrounding me on the box. Just having a look. 
What am I doing? What am I talking about? Hi. Hello. It's kind of like they know it's a rainy, do nothing day, too. Hi. You guys are all so nice. God, I've learned to keep my hands out of the frames. And Kermit. Like, I don't know who this lamb is. I know he's 51. He's pawing at me, trying to get on my knee. He is not a bottle baby. He never was, never was a pet. And yet here he is. You see, he's up on me. There's my feet. He's climbing up. Oh, come on up, come on up. Okay, so now I just put him on my knee. Normally, a sheep who's never been held before would be struggling, but Kermit, I don't know. That Jerry, we understand why you're a team. You're a bottle baby. We've seen you. Kermit, on the other hand, has no reason for being this friendly. Except that he wants to go to a pet home. Hi, baby. Why are you so friendly? Have you been talking to Jerry? Jerry, what have you been telling that ram? Win her over and you'll get whatever you want? Probably. But, see, he's right on my knee. I'm not even holding him, actually. See, hand, other hand holding camera. Like, what is that? What is that, Kermit? Why? What sweet you being so friendly? And this is what they do to you. They manipula manipulate you. And, yeah, uh, it works on me, and they know it. Hi, sweetheart. So, yeah, I guess I need people to come over here and pet sheep. Because I get far too attached. I can't believe he's going to fall asleep now. Because I was going to move to the other pen. Anyway, we'll go look at the other sheep. We'll go off selfie mode. Look at how that number nine's developing. He is a chunky boy. And here's the other crew. They're all watching. They're wondering why that ram is sitting on my knee. Because he's still here. He's on my knee. I think he's fast asleep. I don't know. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Well, I should probably put Kermit down and go visit the Suffolk so we can share time with them. I feel guilty putting him down. There, I put him down on the ground and positioned him. Now the other people are up on the box and Jerry's here right in my face. And no, for anyone who asks, he's not, this little guy is not sick at all. It's, he's not like this because he's sick. He's just one of those follow you around little sheep. I don't know. Jerry, Jerry, I can't videotape with you. Keep nudging me. You're a little bit of a bossy ram. Hi, who are you? Okay, now we got Kermit on the ground. Maybe he'll stay here and I can go take you for a visit to the suffix now. We've seen enough of the dorsets. Okay, we'll climb on into this suffix pen here. I'll do the same thing. I'll go sit on the box, see if anyone comes to visit. Hi! You guys are so much bigger. You guys are big, big sheepies. And see this uh, browner one in the middle? That's uh, jumping up on that sheep with attitude? That is Rue. 
Hey, Ru. We were wondering where you were. How you doing? Hi. Hello. Let's go sit on the box. This guy is not number two, but he's number three. He's an also an extremely stocky boy. Number three being that one right in the middle there. Okay, you guys, we're going to go sit on a box. Let's go have a box chat. So the people serious about sheep farming will think this is a wasted video. But uh, it's been extremely stressful around here lately. Um, so rainy day, nobody lambing at the moment. To me, it's a good time to actually enjoy what we're doing. And for me, this is the enjoyment part. Seeing how our um, breeding has turned out and our efforts. Hi. She's a very nicely built you. If I were to fault her, her fault would be that she's uh, carrying a little more brown than I would like. Uh, the suffix should be a little blacker. Um, but her confirmation is really good. And who are you up on the box with me? I don't know who you are, but you seem to be friendly enough, yeah. Oh, and here is number three Ram. He came up. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. Actually, because the Suffolk seem to be climbing all over the box with me, I'll go sit against the wall so I can look at them all without them going behind me. Okay, buddies, I'm going to come down here. Now you have to come over here. So, I don't know if it's evident in, on the camera, but the suffix are basically the same age as that last group of dorsets we were with. And you can see they're being fed the same, they were raised the same, but these suffix um, are carrying way more muscle than the dorsets and are growing a lot quicker. And uh, that's just a breed trait. Suffix are known for gaining weight and putting on muscle. That's um, why they're one of the number one terminal sires in the world and have been for centuries. Hello, you guys. Rue, Rue, you don't need to dominate and be bossy. So yeah, they're all, they're all at the stage now where they want to come up and see you. But it's funny, when people that they don't know come in here, they do recognize that's different, and sometimes I can't get them to come up. Hi. So, I guess everybody was thinking that we had a coyote attack or something, because I mentioned, and I actually thought I had deleted the comment that I was having a really bad day. But I guess I didn't. And um, a few days ago, we did have a, a really, really bad day. Um, we were doing chores and everything started good and the videos were going well. And we got to uh, the final barn of the day, which has um, the replacement ewes and the new Suffolk moms with their lambs. And my... Uh, fall replacement dorsets that I just kept back. Well, the bad thing that happened, and to this day, logically I know that it's not my fault, but kind of dwells on you and makes you think that it is. So you guys remember that I was only supposed to keep purebred dorsets back. So we went through and we chose um, 
eight purebred Dorsets to hold back. And we kept Toonie because she's the only Toonist we have, so we had to keep her. And we also kept that one, that really tall, beautiful one who I just totally loved and she loved me. Um, she was a grade, but you know, we, we gave um, the guy in Nova Scotia one of the Dorsets and we kept the grade just because I liked her so much. And I felt bad when I kept her back because I, I sent her sister on and I thought, oh, I should probably have left her with her sister, but she really liked me too. So I thought, oh, anyway, I kept her because I loved her uh, the most and uh, she didn't have a name, but I think you guys remember her because she had uh, just the beautiful face and the beautiful eyes. Well, we went in the barn a couple of days ago now and... I have no idea what happened. Like, she tried to jump over the gate into where the Suffolk moms and lambs were. I have no idea why she would do that. Um, if it was a ram, I can kind of understand it because rams are silly. They'll try to jump in with ewes. But it was ewes into ewes. It, I just never had that happen before. Anyway, when she did that, she couldn't clear the gate and her leg got stuck in the gate and it snapped it right in half, like right out, like really, really, really bad break. And we had to put her down. So that was the bad day. Um, I feel guilty because I figure I should have sold her and she'd be okay. So that's all I want to say about it. I don't like dwelling on bad things. Anyway, here's a really friendly girl. Hey mom, how you doing? All the lambs are trying to see me and now you're, you're dominating. You're dominating the whole view of the camera. Yes. Yeah, you're a good girl. Our sheep get so friendly. My goodness, you're friendly. My goodness, you are. That you I was petting, she just walked away. I've been petting her for about 15 minutes now. And she went to nurse her lamb. And guess who her lamb is? A big black guy that I like. So she's one of my favorite ewes, and she is the mom of that black guy. Hello, who are you? Did you want to say hello? So chances are that that ram I should be able to win over easily too, because it does tend to be very genetic, this friendly thing. I see that you are the mom of the black lamb. That's good. He's really nice. He's probably going to be keeper. Just like you. It's crazy out there right now. That um, is pure mist in the distance there. It's pouring. And apparently, as the day moves on, that's supposed to turn into snow. It's really icy out there. But right now it's rain. It'll be turning to freezing rain shortly, and then on to snow. They're talking 15 centimeters tonight, so we'll see. Canada, you gotta love it. So we're heading to the barn, we're gonna let some sheep out and then I'm gonna go make dinner. What? Oh, I thought you wanted to show me something. Everyone said that hay looked nice. It does look nice. That looks extremely nice hay. It's too nice for open use. The lambs would like that. I got that sage right there, that's why I was saying. Yeah. 
That's really nice. You can carry it over tomorrow. And you're going to leave this in the barn tonight? Uh, the gates are shut. We must have the gate open. Right? Well, but I have seen them playing with those little things. Yeah, Here, why don't... Or just turn this down. Like that. So if they catch it, then I think... Because uh, I was watching... Oh no, it was uh, the, the pin. The ram was playing with the pin and pulling it up. You wouldn't think it, but... But I mean, obviously we could have left the gate open, but... The real thing, the real product in that bale right there is orchid grass. Oh yeah. There's a alfalfa in it. Yeah, not a lot. You can see it's a grass bale. Well, you can see the alfalfa too. Anyway, it's nice and green. That's the main thing. And that's our nice yellow uh, corn. Corn barbie. And that's our lovely weather out there. I'd say at least it's not snow, but soon it will be. Oh! And one of my pet ewes, one of the really friendly, nice uh, Suffolk, she's a G year. Remember that black ram that I like? Yeah. That's hers. Well. So I like it when uh, the, the good ewes have the good rams. Okay, so Max is waiting for us. He thinks he's hidden behind the manure spreader. We can close the gates and see if they can figure out where this spells backwards. Actually, on the camera, the camera puts the whole thing backwards. Okay, I gotta run to the close the gate quickly because uh, the camera's gonna get wet. That's another one of the gates he made. Yep. It's hard to read the letters, I don't know if you can see it. Gotta get the right angle. There we go, Utopia. Okay, off to the barn. So, thank you for joining us for another day. Come on, Ben. At Utopia Farms. I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode. And we'll talk to you then. Bye for now.